Yes. Fucking Underhaven, we're back. We're back after like three In fucking black. weeks. Yeah, man. And what a fucking crazy fucking man. couple weeks it's been, man. But we're finally fucking back. And nothing's gonna stop us from coming back to do this fucking show, man. The fucking apocalypse could happen. Get something in us to get entertaining and fucking put on a show. Nothing's gonna stop us, man. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, fuck. Nothing at all. The incel apocalypse. It could be happening right now and we're still gonna go live. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. We had we had a great fucking idea before the show began. I guess we should share yeah. that with our viewers. Just as a as a quick aside, some people do believe in an upcoming incel uprising. They think it's <laughs> they think it's called that the incel uprising or something. Oh my god, you, dude! You know that guy, a call for an uprising uh, on YouTube. Dude, he's gonna be making videos about this type of shit soon enough. We'll be able to cover that on our fucking show, man. He's gonna be talking about the fucking incels rising up. Dude, dude that, that fucking Joker meme where it's like gamers rise up, that's gonna come true. It's gonna fucking come true. There's gonna be an entire army of fucking Jokers fucking beating down Trump's doorstep. Can't I don't know wait. why people d whine about that. I, to me, it sounds exciting, honestly. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, it, it sucks that a bunch of people die, but, you know, whatever. There was what always about, some casualties. What, the idea of revolution? Uh, I, I guess you're yeah. I guess you're right, Swag. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Yeah, some, some heads gotta roll. Some Stacy's gotta get slayed, you know? Oh my whatever. god, yeah, dude. I mean, it's it's fucking bad. Don't get me wrong, but, I mean, it's, it's par for the course. Any, any revolution with no casualties is not a fucking revolution. See, here's why Underhaven's no longer on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but like we're, like uh, me and Sway to get, came to the conclusion before we went live, like yeah. there's all these fucking dating websites. There's like a dating website specifically for black people. Like there's one for Christians. Yeah, th th Christian there's like angle. farmers too. Like yeah, farmersonly.com. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's like you dude. sign up. You know, you can only befriend your fucking cousin on the side and shit like that. You know, whatever. Rock on. <laughs> yeah. But Fuck, we, yeah. we came up with like an idea for uh, incels. Like the incel yeah, dating website. Yeah, I'm gonna like you said, Adam. So like, who needs it more than incels? I, mean, I, I know, like right? That would, that would solve the problem because I mean, like, there are women out there who are willing or desperate enough to just go along with you know the incel rhetoric, like you know Stacy's or femoids or whatever you know incels call people now. Oh my God, do they really call yeah, people dude. that? Whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, yes. Yeah. So some of them call women femoids. Oh, fuck this. I'm not making them a fucking dating website. Fuck these people, dude. I don't care how much money they fucking cough. I don't, I don't know, know, dude. I mean, th think about it. Think about it. They want to get laid more than anyone else. Okay, and there's there's, fuck, there's people out there that would fuck them. There's, they're, they're, they're a legitimate people. And, and oh, there's, they're there's incels, like, yeah. yeah, and so we, we, we'll bring these people together. You know what? They might be shitty people now, but you know, something tells me once they get laid, you know, they might actually be pleasant to be around. And, you know, maybe they'll actually start fitting into society like normal fucking people. That's what a lot of the people with, like, sticks up their ass and, like, inherent biases really just need, like, a good fuck. Like, look, think of people like Anita yeah, Sarkeesian and Jack Thompson, these people who just can't <laughs> fucking stand, like, people of different yeah. ideas and ideologies. Like, they Dude, just need it, to get it's kinda, it. It's kind of like when yeah, you don't jerk off for a long time, you know, when you're, like, <laughs> yeah, off you on vacation. And, and, you, you, yeah, you can't get any privacy, and then, you know, when you get home, you're like, fuck, I want to bomb like a homeless shelter or some shit. I'm so pissed <laughs> off. Then wow. you go, you know, you... You go pull one off and then you're fine. It's like, eh, whatever. It's cool. 
you know, these, these people, they need release. They need to uh, empty the valve. Well, Dude, we um, really are going to get taken off Twitch one of these days, man. Oh, big <laughs> fucking whoop. I mean, like, the website's going to tank in, like, ten years anyway. Yeah, dude, the mis- Mixer's going to make us an offer that we can't refuse anyway. So. It'll happen. But, yeah, incels, wait, what should we, we call it? Is it, like, uh, incels need love to dot net or some shit like in, that? In celebration. Oh, oh no. <laughs> that's that, a good that, one. That, Dude, uh, incels would probably find that funny, so maybe that they would. Funny. That's the point, yo. That I'm, yeah, I'm a fucking yeah. marketing genius. That, that's kind of clever, you know. Like it's, we're it's gonna, kind of good we're, with we're celebrating the the incels. Okay, these people have never been celebrated in their life. They've never been been loved in their life. They've never been fucked. Okay, we need to give them all of these things. Okay, it, I I have a dream of creating a better fucking society. Okay, and I I personally wholeheartedly believe that the key to a better society is an incel dating website. Dude, yeah, it's who's like with MLK me? MLK Jr. E, e championed like you know civil rights and yeah, UBI, dude. and then you know decades later, it's like God damn it, people who can't get laid, they need to get fucked. Yeah, dude. Fuck whatever Bernie Sanders is doing, okay? I have the real revolution right here, okay? Getting incels laid. That's how you fix the, fix the future, motherfuckers. Dude, Getting I've already got a slogan. Laid. I've already got a slogan for the website. Misery loves company. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually great. I know. Yeah, we'll go with that. Dude, we're Misery coming up with way too people. many good ideas for like. Yeah, dude. You know? But maybe we should have kept this off the air. Yeah, yeah, dude. We gotta make. All right, let's take this down right now. We gotta fucking yeah, dude. make some fucking claims, you know. <laughs> all right, I'm I'm muting the audio, so just yeah. All right, it oh, should God. be muted now. All right, we're good. So, you okay. guys take care of the trademark shit. I'll uh, I don't know. I'll I'll hang around. Private this episode, dude. Get it get what it down fuck immediately, am I at, dude. <laughs> is this Lex no, Luthor? Some, some, some <laughs> fucking conservative retard. I don't know. Oh god, dude. It's, yeah, it's, we never. Th- the file name says Josh Bernstein is an idiot. Dot JPEG. So dude, I think we talk that's, about, that's, so, that's. We talk about so many of those on this show that it's hard to like tell them apart. You know, they all kind of blend together. I'm sorry. Is that racist? Well, it's against me. So oh, sure. speaking of racism and conservative dipshits, you want to get into some Jesse Lee Peterson? Oh, I mean, you man, don't, but, but I, we I have don't, it on the but, playlist. Yeah, let's get into it anyway. Oh, I'm so yeah. rusty. Boomer yeah. swag, bear with me. Bear yeah. With me. I haven't done this in a while. All right, I'll help you through it. Asian guy, you better. Chinese guy, okay. wherever he is, he should go back to China. So he's talking about Andrew Yang. So oh, he's talking about Yang. Uh, There's some Asian Chinese man go back to China. It's like, what the fuck? Oh my God. Just right off the bat. Who, how, how can anyone bear to listen to this? Like, even if you... Even if you are, like, this uber-conservative dipshit who just, like, you know, nods your head to every word that just defecates out of Peterson's fucking mouth, like, how could you possibly listen to his voice, even if you agree with all of it? Okay, can I just say right now, that this dude makes me, this dude makes me uneasy, okay? The, the fact that he's, like, because, okay, there's clearly something wrong with him, and, <laughs> Judging uh, by this frame. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, dude, like the dude, the dude clearly believes everything he's told. He he clearly is like th- just like there's there's people that that just like tell him, yup, this is how it is. And he's just like, oh really? Yeah, oh, that's so interesting. That's so great. And <laughs> yeah, like he doesn't that. question anything. He's like he's like a marionette. He's like a talking piece for racist he white is. people. He's to a fucking get puppet, out their ideas. dude. Hey, think about it though. If a white person said this, then he wouldn't have a fucking show. He wouldn't be allowed or to have any dialogue with people. He'd be fucking blacklisted from the majority of people on the internet because he would just be outcast. And but that's the really fucking shitty thing is he gets away with it because he is oh he's an old black guy who doesn't seem to be entirely there. So people are like, oh man, that's Jesse Lee Peterson, right? But no, I mean, is it really any worse than if some white dude was saying this type of shit? There would be complete and utter fucking outrage if that happened. It just shows people's biases, that's all. Um, wherever he came from, Andrew... <laughs> wherever he Yang. came from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sound, sound it out, sir. Sound it out. It's like, you've looked into him. You could have looked into, like, his where he's from, since you're going to talk about it. Well, no, think, he's reading a script. I could be wrong, usual. but I think it's I think it's Taiwan. I know it's not China. So, I mean, what the fuck? 
No, dude, because the only the only fucking notes that this guy's handler wrote down for him was, uh, oh, man, Asian man wants to give away free money. Oh, yeah, talk about that. Have, give your take on that. Do you think yeah, there, there's like a so fucking, there's like a used up nap, fucking Denny's napkin on his table that's just like, you know, socialist chink as like, you know, subject matter. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll just roll with that. <laughs> yeah, Seems yeah. good. Who's running for president? See, you allow these people to come into our country and they come in with their socialist, communist ideas. Dude, ideas I, I, that you I, cannot I, enunciate the names of. Yeah, go on. I, sure. I, I've, I've, heard, uh, I've heard Andrew Yang called a lot of fucking things, but socialist is not generally one of them. That's something yeah, more applied yeah, towards not. Bernie when they try to defame him. But yeah. yeah. I mean, like, there are a shit. I mean, Bernie's like, not one uh, either. No, he's there's not. like a bunch of uh, libertarians who support Yang, even. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing, like, oh, because, uh, uh, okay, so I brought this up to you, Swegta, I said, uh, you know, he got into a lot of shit, at least by some people in this base, because he dared to wish Bernie Sanders a happy birthday, <laughs> and there were people being like, oh, look at Yang, coming out and supporting a socialist that's taking our country down the wrong direction. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, just like that, man. That, 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 <laughs> you, you just got some of those fucking detractors right in the studio with us. It's like, how can you fucking get bent out of shape? Just about someone uh, wishing someone a fucking happy birthday. Really? That's what you're going to oh get outraged God. about? How would you feel like going to your significant other and being like, Hey there, honey. Today I went on Twitter and I bitched at someone for daring to wish their friend a happy birthday. I don't even know if they know each other, but they're probably acquainted. Uh, either way, he has a right to wish him a happy birthday. That's the most basic fucking courtesy yeah. that you can give someone. Even when someone's a complete and utter asshole and they don't like someone else, you know, they're probably willing to wish them a happy birthday regardless of their differences. So go fuck yourself, honestly. By the way, happy birthday in advance, Hitler. Hope you have a good one. Oh, yeah, dude. I celebrate his birthday in a very special way every year. Yeah, they call uh, it Oktoberfest. Sorry. No, go. no, I don't think Jesse Lee Peterson knows what socialism is. And that's my problem with this whole thing. I don't think he has any fucking clue what socialism is, what it's social bad. democracy is, it's what bad. capitalism is. He doesn't it's, know it's, any it's of this shit. It's good. Just, the, the, that yep. last thing's good, but the rest is bad. Yep. Pretty because much. Socialist Democrat is uh, uh, running for president, Andrew Yang. Andrew Yang! To wherever he came from. What did he say? Andrew, Andrew Yay! Andrew Yay! As in, like, yay! <laughs> God. And let him go over there and, and give away free stuff. Oh, Why man! Dude, the swag that you know this fucking is what pisses me off more than anything, man. This stupid fucking free stuff <laughs> argument that yeah, fucking dude. brings my fucking blood to a boil. I can't okay, fucking stand it. Lay it on down, buddy. Lay it do on it. down. It's <laughs> Okay, I mean, I I'm sure everyone in our audience has already heard this shit before, but you know, a common straw man used against, like, people like Bernie or Andrew Yang who are trying to, like, get a fucking better deal for the average American is, oh, man, you just want to give away fucking free stuff. I've even heard people who are, like, my friends and that I respect in other fucking circumstances mm -hmm. say this type of fucking argument. It really fucking pisses me off to hear because it's, like, such a common argument used by people. It's, like, one of the things that people need to get through their thick fucking skulls is that nothing is fucking free in this country. Uh, people aren't pushing these policies because it's going to make their life easier these fucking politicians have enough fucking money to deal with uh the, the reason why they're doing this is because a lot of people advocating for these ideas whether they believe in it or not there are fucking people who believe that'll make a difference in the positive change and it would but people are too busy dragging their fucking heels in the sand constantly for years and years making these types of fucking straw man arguments that it's just never going to come to any fruition or progress because people would rather have a fake conversation than actually talk about the talking point. That's why this shit fucking brings my piss to a boil because he's like the perfect example of someone who's just being fed a narrative and doesn't do any fucking thinking for himself. You know what, Animancer? Yep. That sounds like a bunch of goddamn socialism. <laughs> Dude, I had that in me for three weeks. Had to get that out on the show. Yeah, Sorry. like I said, it's, it's like uh, coming. I, I, I like, you have to release, you, you have to yeah, empty the, the pipes every now and then. Yeah, dude, I need to have it's an just, orgasm. Dude, it's yes. a stupid fucking narrative, and I'm sick of it, too. This fucking free stuff bullshit. It's not free stuff. It's Nothing called, free. 
We live in a fucking society where we pay taxes, where the fucking government takes that tax money and puts it towards services that are meant to help us. Okay, right now, that doesn't fucking happen very much. A lot of the fucking tax money goes to stupid fucking bullshit that it doesn't need to go towards, goes to fucking per perpetuating endless wars, goes to fucking bailing out corpor corporations so that they can fuck the fuck the, 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 the working people more. You know, and, and no, yeah. we don't want free stuff. We want that money to go to something that's actually going to help the fucking people. And it's not going to be free because we're going to pay for it. But in like in Yang's case, it's not even like raising taxes necessarily. Like at least if you were talking about his uh, flagship proposal, uh, the Freedom Dividend. Because I mean like that's going to come from uh, companies like Amazon who pay fucking nothing at all in taxes. Yeah. It, instead, of, instead of letting them hog the profits, meanwhile they take up, you know... Meanwhile, they uh, result in like 30% of stores in America closing right now. Instead of letting them get a get away with that scot free, I mean, you know, it's it's like, hey, you know, you gotta pay your fair share. You, you gotta pay back into the system you mm -hmm. benefit so greatly from. But that's the problem, yeah. right? Because to the people making these types of arguments, it doesn't matter what Yang's actual opinions are. Okay, but I mean, like I, in, you know. in in that case, just like call yourself like an, a fucking um anarchist or anarcho fucking how, how do you pronounce it? I'm Swedish. I'm fucking. Having a brain fart, anarcho capitalist. Anarcho capitalist. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I mean, like you know, if you're just like against taxes, just fucking say that. Because it's it's obvious that you fucking favor some types of taxation. You know, like roads or, um, the police or the fire department. Like any public service that that has your back. Only you're in when favor it directly of. affects them, though, right? If they don't think that'll directly have a positive impact but, on their life, but it would have a positive impact on him. He's just too fucking retarded to realize it. He would get a thousand dollars monthly out of it. Dude, to him, that's to him, that's probably a drop in the bucket that he gets paid by his fucking puppet masters to spew out the fucking hateful yeah. bullshit. Okay, that but he does. but but then his dipshit fucking fantards would would get more money to give to his fucking Patreon. And by the way, I'm looking at it right now. I looked it up. It says, "Uh, you're you're gonna love this." It says that he's committed no. to quote uniting the races with truth instead of dividing them with lies. <laughs> yeah, but but Andrew oh. Yang should just go go back to China fucking socialist fuck this yeah, guy dude. yeah dude what is it with fucking conservative leaning people and this like increasing amount of um them being like hey go back to your fucking country of origin that's really how you want to win a fucking debate by telling them to go back to some shitbag fucking country you know one of the great things about this country one of the few things that people can agree on is great about america is that we can actually voice our fucking opinions and have different ideas so what are you gonna do mm -hmm. say because someone has some different ideas that they should go close themselves off and join some other fucking shithole fuck that i don't give a shit about that <laughs> Ostensibly, yeah, that's what he wants. And it's funny, because I, I guarantee you that, like, you know, at some point in his life, Jesse Lee Peterson has faced, you know, those kind of racist comments from, like, you know, the people that he attempts to appeal to. You know, people I'm telling sure him, like, oh, go go back to Africa, you fuck you, whatever. You know, yeah. I, I promise you that he has experienced that at some point in his life. Was it valid then? Well, I'm racism sure this doesn't he exist, has though. Medicare, too, so he's he benefited from shit in that way, too. Like, uh, everyone benefits from this type of shit. They just like to pretend like they don't and act like this is a completely capitalist country with no forms of social programs or anything like that. They'd rather ignore the reality and just pretend like they're living in some libertarian paradise, except when the liberals do something bad and then it's being a country ruled by them. Just depends on whatever argument they're making today, whatever fucking shoes Here they have. Here to turn on. America to... The place that he left. Excuse what? me? I'm sorry, come what? again? I've been yeah, told please, that come. his parents are from Taiwan. Taiwan? You've been told. You can look it up in five seconds. Dude, it's kind of like when you're watching a porn and it, it like buffers for a second. It's like, God damn, just get yep, to the fucking thing I'm here for. So is he an anchor baby or something? What? <laughs> no, he, he's the son of like a rocket you scientist or some shit. His dad grew up on a fucking peanut farm in, in Asia and then moved to the U.S. and became a fucking success. How, anger, what the fuck are you talking about? 
Dude, that, that kind of like success story is a perfect example of like why America can be a great thing because people can come from any fucking place in this world. They can have a shitty upbringing and if they have the fucking wit and the will and the know-how, then they can make it here in America. But this guy just wants to throw that under the fucking rug. It's like, why? Really? You, you're going to treat someone like shit just because they don't have ideas that you agree with even though they actually live up to the American dream? Well, Go um, fuck yourself, you ignorant, person, fucked right? up piece of Beta. shit. I can't fucking stand. Oh, Beta, Beta, you guys like what I do that, right? <laughs> Beta. Yeah, the yeah, same yeah. to yeah. Taiwan, yeah. You're useful for being fucking laughed at and nothing more, you fucking asshole. Fuck yourself. I mean, Why don't you, you go back to your country of origin, you piece of shit? Fuck yourself. Fuck yourself. Fuck yourself. Right, right so there's crush. a... There there's a, a part do to this video. So you, you want to get into that? He doubles God. down. Yeah, a part douche. So let's, let's okay. get into it. Yeah. So this is him doubling like down on uh, that massive fucking pile of shit. Oh, what a in the news. So I made news this week for telling the truth. For telling the truth? Okay. Um, I made some headlines due to my comments on Dude, you know someone's honest name. if they say that they are, right? Like, I'm telling the truth here, you know? <laughs> yeah, dude. You, you can always trust someone who tells you just how honest they are. It's true. And it let's, hear how honest, let's hear how honest this News guy is. He picked up my show, um, and they write, wrote about it. And they put the video up there as Dude, well. it's just like true news, man. It really is just like fucking true news. It's like, you know, you, you can tell that they're telling the truth because it says true in the truth. Right wing radio host says Andrew Yang should go back to China. So Dude, Andrew, you can't even pronounce NG. Go back to NG. your respective country of origin and learn how to fucking speak before you talk shit on Andrew Yang. <laughs> But this is what I mean, though. It's like listening to a toddler summarize the plot of a film or some shit. It's, Come on, it's sound like it out. Sound it out, Jesse. Come on, one word at a time. Um. <laughs> <laughs> really? You're still going. You're still fucking. Yang is running for yeah. president, representing the Democratic you Party. You just said it three so times in 30 seconds and didn't get it right once, <laughs> okay, you piece okay. of shit. Okay, hold on. We're, we can't keep pausing it every fucking five yeah, okay. milliseconds. All right, all right. He's a communist. And he should not be in our country. He shouldn't go back to China. Be, uh, because they are for that. And <laughs> what? if he loves socialism... Oh, my God. Are you fucking kidding me? What's he if saying? If he loves so socialism, then why not go to the country that he came from? Because he's not from China, you fucking nimrod. <laughs> Dude, uh, wait, wait, Swag, I just realized something. It's not us pausing every second. It's him. He's the one <laughs> pausing every fucking second. Yeah. Oh, God. And push socialism with the people that like socialism. We don't like it here. It doesn't work here. Dude, we, might have to, we might have to pull a Brett Keen on this guy and like in the future like play him like 1.5 speed or something like that because like yeah, I, I feel the need to just keep saying shit to try and fill something in the gaps because he's so fucking awkward you know society like that so he need to go back and so the people got mad at me for saying <laughs> we that we live in a society but what's wrong with saying that <laughs> well they say that he's from a, he's from Taiwan or something <laughs> This is like the first time he's hearing of Taiwan. <laughs> Dude, wait, he said that same fucking thing like two minutes ago. He's just being like, yeah, I heard someone say that he's from Taiwan or something, you know? But I don't believe he's from Taiwan. I mean, his parents are from Taiwan, but he's, he, yeah, he was born in, and raised in America. He's an American citizen, just like you. Just because like, he looks different doesn't mean that, you know, his, his citizenship is automatically invalid. I'm sorry. How is it not racist to be telling people like like, like, like just that? It's like there's some well no, but like Trump telling like Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib to go back to their countries, and 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 this dude telling Yang to go. It's like oh well, you know. The, 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 how, how is that okay? How is that not like an outrage? Even if we're going to be it, extremely generous and say that it isn't racist, which I think that it's up to debate. That it, it is, is racist. It, it's definitely xenophobic, and in, in the very well, least. Yes. 
it's it's xenophobic and it's a it's I mean, approaching I, I, racism. I do think it's racist because I mean, like he's he's looking at Yang based on his race and saying well, yeah, go back, go to, back to this to China. place. China. Absolutely, yeah, not, yeah. not even go back to his country of origin, origin, but go back <laughs> to China. That's the most associated with Asians, right? He doesn't even bother to learn what country he's from. He's just like, oh yeah, go back to China. He could look it up on that shitty fucking computer he has right there. Oh god, is that a fucking Mac? Whatever. <laughs> Hey, hey. Did you buy that off regime? Yeah. <laughs> because the people over there are fighting right now to get rid of socialism, right? Aren't they having those? Isn't it just like, as a quick aside, I mean, obviously the left is full of a bunch of idiots, but. Wait, isn't wait, it just fucking like if, if you're a right winger, isn't this just like embarrassing that some of the more prominent voices on, on your side of the political aisle are saying shit like, go back to Muslim land? These go people back look to up to China. Trump like Paul Joseph Watson and Tim Pool, man. <laughs> So go ahead and like the, the this guy's still a laughing stock to many right leaning people. They still find him funny, but they respect people who aren't much better. And, and you know what just hit me? Uh, he said that there was like some type of revolutions going on to like for their freedom in in Taiwan. No, you dumbass. Taiwan's the country that came out of uh, the Chinese Civil War after the Nationalists lost. They're the exact opposite of fucking socialists. They're the furthest thing from it. You, my friend, are fucking thinking of Hong Kong, which is a municipality. Uh, in in China, which is trying to fight for his independence, it just goes to the fact it goes to show that not only is he not uh, proofreading or looking up anything before he goes live, which is not surprising to me, but not even his fucking handlers can do it for him, which is even more fucking sad. It's like a dumbass controlling an even bigger dumbass, which is just uh, I think it's a good analogy for YouTube, actually. Yeah, uh, isn't that right? Nick, they're having those riots over there in Taiwan. Oh yeah, where's the birth certificate? Well, I can't huh? tell. They all look alike. Are all your papers in order, they Mr. Peterson? Alike. Dude. Sorry, did, did he just say, oh, they all look alike? That, that's yeah. exactly... Oh, wait, hold on, was... did he? he? He did, go it's back. A Hong... It's in Hong Kong. Well, I can't tell. They all look alike to me. <laughs> Oh, what? Oh see, my god, dude! Like I said, if he was a fucking white man, he would not be allowed to fucking air. Dude, it, oh, if, if we said a... this about him and other black people, we would be banned on Twitch. Oh, definitely, without a fucking. We'd be fucking gone. Yeah, they all look alike. Whatever, they can go back to that country. You know, shouldn't be it shouldn't be running for president. Like what? What? Right. what like what? If I started like making shitting on Kamala Harris, if I if I started being like, yeah, fucking Kamala Harris shouldn't be running for president. She's a woman and she's black. It would Did be you know fucking. It would be. It would be an outrage. You know what Trump needs to do? He needs to start like tweeting out on Kanye West's account instead, so that way people will accept all the fucking bigoted <laughs> and hateful shit that he's putting out there. I, I think that it would be uh, a, a lot better responded with, uh, especially conservative I mean, people. If he did. How how would you tell the difference at that point? Who's tweeting? I, I already can't, but you know that's 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 the mean. I, that's what I mean. It's like the fucking perfect plan. No one would be able to tell the difference. Taiwan, Hong Kong, China. Japan. What's the difference? <laughs> What's the difference? So the people got mad, but I realized dude. that dude, if you said that to a fucking Chinese yeah, and Japanese dude. person, well, I in the know same people. Room, they'd be I know face. people that if if you said that to them, they would punch you in the fucking face. It's true. I've actually they, they said that. I've been ignorant enough to say shit like that when I was like a teenager, and like I literally had a dude like. Like, 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 go to, like, punch me in the head. Like, what the fuck you just say? Like, no, we are fucking Japanese, and we are not the same as a... Ch Dude, you, you <sighs> don't say that shit. This guy is literally, like, a real-life Hank Hill. Like, are you Chinese or Japanese? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's almost like a fucking decades and decades of people saying that shit to, to this entire demographic of people has made them kind of pissed off. Yeah. Hmm. yeah I wonder why. <laughs> We're not gonna take it. The um, the people who are supporting this communist Andrew Yang, because he's <laughs> promising them a thousand dollars or something like that, free money. Uh, they or really something like money. that. You don't even know money. what you're fucking talking about, dumbass. You don't know a thing Duh. about his policy. God damn. Dude, it's yeah. like I told you. Gets... Like, the only thing he has written down is, oh, Asian man wants to give away $1,000 for free. A actually, you know who gets free money? This dude right here. To, to sit down and spout a bunch of bullshit rhetoric that, that his yeah. fucking handlers wrote for him. He sits there and he gets fucking paid really fucking well, dude. 
You, there's no doubt this dude gets paid fucking well. Oh, yeah, and, dude, and he gets all the fucking money, especially fucking conservatives. They pony up the fucking cash. And the people like, that fucking sit and, and, and write his rhetoric, the people that own him, those people also sit there and get free money off of his fucking getting on camera and, and, and fucking being a, being a goddamn coon for the world to fucking laugh at. <laughs> Now, here's why Underhaven's no longer on Twitch. That's the only reason they're supporting him. Someone said this guy's because low IQ. Guy no, man, he's fucking low IQ. Beta Bear! Beta Bear! No. I just and keep saying that. People will and find you funny, huh? Country. Because, like, if there's anything that evokes al alpha and, you know, like, confidence in my mind, it's being afraid of opposing points of view and, and insisting yeah, that... People who hold those kind of views should just like go back to their fucking country of origin. Yeah, go black. Go black to your country. I mean, of Jesse, like you're a fucking pussy. You're just a fucking wimp. Yeah, I mean, you're most afraid of ideas. Data. Yeah, but I mean, like just like more so than usual. It's I know, to the I point where I'm like, God damn, just man the fuck up. Like this is the type of shit fucking like sassy teenage girls do, like calling each other names and shit. Like, oh, this person's yeah, and then they I, said this, and I think she should go back to China or whatever. But, the, grow the by fuck the way, up. By the way, I will say uh, the person in the chat. I, I'm pretty sure this dude, and, and I'm not certain, but I'm pretty sure the his when he says beta male or when he says lesbian, or like when he shouts stuff, that that I'm pretty sure that's like a tick. Well, that's like an involuntary thing where, like, when he hears the like word, that. he has to, like, scream it. I was, just, I, I was just thinking, like, every time he says it, someone throws him a Scooby snack or something. No, <laughs> I don't think he's making a joke. I think it's literally because it, th this is just my analysis of him, but because probably, like, those things are, like, viewed as, like, bad, like, and, and scary, like, like, lesbian, you know, like. He kind of like has that like. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh my god. Yeah, you totally are yeah. right, man. He's just spurging out. I believe it's China, Solid China, Taiwan, yeah. or wherever he came from. And so I'm saying that's not allowed in America. Go back to where you came Why from. Why is it not allowed? Yeah. Don't you have a thing called the, the <laughs> that's the entire point. speech? Yeah. That's Read the point em. is that it should be allowed here. And like, it's not like they're in fucking sight inciting violence on anyone or hey, individuals hey, or anything. Hey, hey, Jesse, Jesse, you fucking retard. You see that flag behind you? What do you think that represents? What do you think that stands for? What, what do you think that implies? Maybe maybe some kind of liberty or freedom or justice for all? Some shit like that? Ring any fucking bells? Yeah, fuck off. Yeah, dude. I love how they, like, scream about freedom, but literally they're the first ones to try and, 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 and shut someone up when they, when they want to try to exercise their freedom of speech to fucking, you know, spout an op opposing view. That's sadly how, how a lot of the dogmatic people who get really into these ideologies are on all sides of the political spectrum. Unfortunately, it just gets to a point where it's like, yeah, I believe in freedom of speech and free ideas and freedom of exchange in the marketplace of ideas. Unless it's ideas that I don't want us to get out there, then I'll do whatever I fucking can to silence those opinions and get around the fucking rules to silence those opinions. All right, let's move on. Let's play Please. something else. Yeah. yeah, dude, we've been hey on this guys, dude forever. Welcome back to now this. <laughs> go back, guys. go back, go back, go back. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. go back. So I are, actually, are you telling her to go back to where she came from? Or <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No. Go back to our country. Uh, uh, oh, Adam God. actually didn't say that. Holy uh, shit. No one here at fucking endorses telling black people to go back to where they came from. Except for Jesse Lee Peterson. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to now this. Thank you. <laughs> guys is a simple term. It could mean boys, or if you're no, modern, not this, hip, not this it argument. people. Yes, it, yes, it this. is hurting my soul. Now this. At first glance, guys seems inviting, friendly, maybe warm, even comedic uh -huh. at times. But it, yep. like many male default terms, should not be normalized as an all-encompassing... Why race. not? Why, why not if people don't mean anything yeah. bad by I mean, it, it happened, so it's not like this should not be normalized. Well, it is. So it already is. You, sorry, <laughs> you yeah. lose. I mean, you know, fucking rip. Dude, I go into the, I go into our Discord all the time, and I say, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, do you think that the fucking trans or females in the fucking Discord fucking feel bad when I do that? No, they don't. Yeah. They, uh, if anything, no. they feel good that people are coming to be like, hey, what's up? Like, this just is something to be outraged about, right? May maybe they're just too triggered to tell you how triggered they are, Animan. So maybe you don't realize how deeply you're actually wounding those people. 
Yeah, I, someone in the chat said it right. Now this basically is a lot like BuzzFeed. Like, I used to follow them on Facebook because they used to have some pages that had some actually, like, interesting shit on there. But they have degenerated more and more to pandering to a certain group of people. I mean, it's, they usually kind of write about, like, policy shit. But, yeah, no, it, when it comes to the identity politics, they they go too far. They used to be, like, pretty good about the uh, things, but they've just gotten worse and worse in my experience. Yeah, they they used to be good in the '90s when they released their first album. That was good. Now no, they were be, they were better in 2011. <laughs> yeah. 2011. I'm, just, I'm looking at her fucking yeah. face, and I'm just kind of like, I want to play this. <laughs> <laughs> like that's a... Uh -huh. I understand the word means no real harm. With a deeper look, you'll understand that we've been ignoring the cognitive impact on women as well as gender non-conforming folks by only explicitly addressing the male identifying the fucking individual. Right, man. Okay, okay, okay. You've already acknowledged that people use this term as not gender exclusive. So well, then what's the problem? You, you, okay, so that's the problem I have with this type of argument is that these people, when they're trying to make the, that type of argument, you know, about, oh, don't use this type of word or anything, they acknowledge that the, the definition of words changes over time and that we mm -hmm. should acknowledge that and come to terms with it. Is that not something, Jay, that a lot of these people uh, t tend to say? Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense, dude. But they don't extend I... it when it's something that is changed uh, for the better to be like a more gender neutral term. So that's what I don't understand. It's like, just let people say it. It's like, as long as they're not, yeah. that's the problem I have with, with a lot of these arguments too, is that to me, all that matters is people's intentions. If they're not trying to be an asshole or trying to offend anyone, then what do you, what do you give a shit about the words that they're using? What matters is that if they're using that with ill intent, nearly anything can be offensive to someone if you fucking mean it in a you know, personal enough way. But guys, dude, I call my sister and my fiance guys. They're like, yo, guys, come. Like, 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 what's up? Like, come here. Or like, let's go. Whatever, you know. Guys, it's it's a normal thing. You you call people that. Same with dude, you know. Same with I, like, I hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Dude all the time. I mean, man is one. I don't really call women man. But dude yeah, i mean you know, that that, that is another that that is another term though could. like in that context that, that you know i mean people hear that and they're not gonna be like oh man what you think i'm a fucking man it's like no <laughs> like you know what i mean by that and the fact that that's the that's what i mean like i only use that with friends anyway so they know that i'm yeah. not being like oh yeah you're a man so, that's the thing yo like okay you're maybe a if you middle aged like, make... man <laughs> sorry yeah uh, maybe if you want to make the argument that like you shouldn't be like going on the ran on the street and calling random women like guys, you know you shouldn't like a approach like a random room full of people that you don't know and be like, "Hey guys, how's it going?" You know, and there's a bunch of women. Like maybe I'll hear that argument. I still don't like it because it's language Dude. policing and it's dumb. But yeah. if I'm in my group of friends and uh, you can't fucking tell me like what's acceptable and what's not acceptable to us, the only p people that decide what's acceptable is the people in that group. Dude, and you know, if, if if I'm a, if I'm friends with a group of transgender unicorns and they're okay with me calling them <laughs> fucking they're okay with me calling them like I don't know brony fuckers I'm and then it's no one else's business outside of that okay yeah as long as they're cool with it you know it, that, yeah. that, that, that's that's between you and your friend how you interact with exactly each other. If you have I'm a tired of this idea want to be like hey what's up guys then that's fine. Yeah, I'm tired of this idea that, like, no, we're going to police how you're uh, able to speak in your own fucking life. Like, m if you want to say, like, this is uh, okay for, like, you know, common conversation, you know, with, with strangers, whatever. But to try and tell people what they can and can't say in general, it it's going too fucking far. No, it's yeah. not. It's fine. <laughs> Dude, the only, ter the only time I've heard, like, the term guy is used in an inappropriate situation was when Dave Rubin had this debate going on with two trans people, and he was like, guys, 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 settle down, settle down. I was just like, eh, maybe not the best time to pull out that yeah. word there, you know? Maybe. Yeah. I mean, he should still be free like, to say didn't... it. Yeah, you know, he, yeah. I, I, it was just a silly thing. I wouldn't hold it against him for saying yeah. that. Sure. But... Sure, but I mean, the point being, like, it comes down to how they feel about that colloquial term. Right. Like, you know, yeah, it's just kind of, like, you, you call people, hey, guys, and they're like, oh, I don't, uh, don't call me that. It's like, okay, well, well yeah. just move on from there. It's yeah. Well, yeah, that's the thing, deal. though. If, like, if a female maybe, says, don't do that. Hey, now this. Maybe this is why you're fucking failing in views and, and fucking <laughs> ratings and shit. Because you have entitled pieces of shit who feel like they're part of some kind of civil rights revolution, when in reality, they're not. 
They're just bickering about I mean, nonsense like this. There's a civil it's, rights revolution you could be on the side of, and it involves fucking fixing income inequality, and it doesn't have anything to do with ide- identity politics bullshit. I know you want it to, because for you, that issue's not dead yet, but for the majority of, of people in civilized society, we've moved past that issue, and we have... And, and honestly, it's just a distraction at this point. Or, or like, like, how about oh, yeah, some of the places on... that like make the products you benefit from on a, like a daily basis, like the clothing you have, the f- fucking chocolate bars okay. you eat? I mean, like these are places that that have civil rights issues, and you're not even acknowledging them. Instead, you're spending yeah. your time bitching about people using a term like "Hey guys." It's these, utterly they... meaningless and nonsensical, and you should be ashamed for being such a fucking hypocrite. Fuck you. Yeah. These media conglomerates, they do shit like this all the time. They would rather have us arguing about shit like this, like the word fucking guys or Black Ariel or Captain Marvel or any other fucking shit that doesn't actually matter just so they can distract us from the actual issues and keep us buying their fucking products and watching their shitty videos. The mm-hmm. meaning of guys has changed over time. According to the Washington yes. Post, etymologists so, believe... That's, that's all you should fucking 17- say. That's all this video need. That's all you needed to fucking say in this video. Five seconds. The, me- the meaning of the word guys changed over time. Okay, we get it. It's changed now. It doesn't just mean men. So shut the fuck up, you entitled bitch. Century with a guy named Guy Fox. Oh, a Guy Fox. In the- oh, guy Dude, named I- God. Yeah, I have like a brief story about that. So during English class, we had like a historical section there where um, we read up on certain historical figures like Guy Fox. And, uh... Some fucking, <laughs> some idiot in my class was like, she thought it was like, gay fuck or something. Like, she honestly <laughs> thought his name was like, gay fuck. So, she did this presenta- presentation on that, like a PowerPoint, for like 10 minutes. And and you could hear a pin drop. And she's like, just a, a total airhead. So like, she doesn't realize that she's wrong on all of this. So she, she goes into like, Oh, you know, he was like a, a big figure in the civil rights movement for the LGBT community because he was gay. <laughs> what? Was yeah, you watching the, the Jesse en- Lee Peterson video on By the end of it, by the end of it, my, my uber feminist fucking teacher is just like <laughs> astounded by this because she actually gives a fuck about not just like the subjects she's teaching, but also <laughs> actual LGBT shit. And she's just like, no. This is all wrong. This is Everything fucking horrible. Everything you just said for the past ten minutes is complete bullshit. You failed. Yeah, okay, dude, I'll, I'll play it. This, <laughs> this is basically what she said. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I mean, that, that's, you know, I'm toasting oh, dude, the truth of that there, soundboard, but... I gotta bring something up. So okay, we, weren't be, we weren't gonna be able to talk about it this time because I forgot to pull. But we got actually a response, a video response from Mr. Chris Anderson. <laughs> Did we? <laughs> yeah, man, he responded to our fucking, uh, to our response to him like six months late. He acknowledged it was six months fucking late. And, and the only thing that he could do, it was weird, like, the only point that he brought up is that he was critical of us using fucking soundboards. It's like, what are you guys trying to be, some type of fucking Howard Stern shit or something? I it's love like, that's your you. response to what we- You love me. We're a happy family. P- Pasta love Steven it. Anderson? The, the, the homophobe basher? No, 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 Chris no. Anderson. Fake Sagan, the guy, yeah, the guy who will Sagan. teach you at gunpoint, man, that guy. Yeah. Oh, H- hence the, the Barney that. impression, yeah. Oh, that dude, okay. I know him as, a, what was it, Case? Oh, yeah, Case, yeah. yeah. Case. Yeah. So, yeah, that Sorry, I thought you said... held a fucking gun to TJ's head, yeah, that Okay, guy. okay. I don't know why yeah, I was so, thinking so, of that dude. Well, fuck that dude, that. Who, cares, who cares what his opinion is? He's fucking, that dude's insane. Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, pull it on the next show as long as it's, you know, like, not horrible quality or immensely boring. I've gunpowder plot. He only barely Wait, it's, escaped it's a, a brutal execution by jumping off a scaffold and breaking his neck. For the next few Wait, hold on, hold on. Those who likened him in fashion... What about him being gay? You forgot to mention that. ...referred to as <laughs> guys. Eventually, according to the Boston Globe, the term broadened to describe creepy people, then to a generic term for men, 
and now some would say a gender neutral. Some race. would say you mean the vast Most majority would of say. people, except for the talking heads like you, trying to push yeah. a narrative like it's some type of bad thing. You guys For just need decades, something to talk we have about. Set a standard of only addressing the men in the room. Of course, we claim uh, it's colloquial, but with our elevated knowledge and inclusive perspective. You, that's just like the phrasing. Look at that face. Vile. Look at that face. I mean, like, you know, how many times have we heard that kind of shit throughout history? Like, our elevated perception and inclusive, whatever. Like, how it's pretentious, just, you're not, man. You're not above <laughs> past generations. You just have different values. You're not going to convince people not to use the term guys by being a pretentious piece of shit and then talking down to people like this. Look at this. This woman knows that she's full of shit. She knows that she's fucking full of shit, man. You can tell she smells it on her fucking <laughs> yeah, breath. Dude, I just want to know, like, she does she realize, like, her whole her whole cause here seems to be you know, trying to get women to be taken taken seriously, and she's literally doing the fucking opposite. Like, she's making herself and her cause look so fucking petty and ridiculous and just dumb. Talk to me about some it real issues lazy. that actually do affect Incons women, and then I'll get behind that shit. But this is not something that has a part negative effect. Of what reinforces the gender hierarchy today? How is one to feel empowered to speak or assert themselves when, upon greeting, they're misgendered or even ignored in language? They're not gendering you. We'd be surprised you, you, you that know for decades, that it's not. women often felt uncomfortable <laughs> asserting their voice when we didn't even take the time to properly acknowledge them. It's not These because of the word guys. That's not the reason. Yeah, the fact that they're uh, greeting you, that's, that's an acknowledgement, isn't it? Why are you guys... Uh, why are you guys trying to get us to stop using a gender-neutral pronoun? I thought you guys were all about that type of shit. <laughs> yes, I am saying guys on purpose this much, by the way. But, but it just goes to show how much I use it in my everyday vocabulary. Does that I'll make me a bad person? Yes. yes. In eras where women were barely meant to be seen and certainly not heard. So this is how they view themselves. Time. It's like, you know, we're still in the fucking 40s. Yeah, dude. We don't live in those well, because, times. Well, because it it, 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 it it helps their fucking victim culture. They love it. They love to be seen as like, oh, we're women, we're so oppressed. Like, we don't have the same opportunities as men. I'm sorry, dude. It's not true anymore. It's 2019. There might be some inequalities here and there, but you know what? There's inequalities that go the other way, too. Okay? There's, you want to talk about male privilege? There's, there's probably just as much female privilege. So how about instead of sitting and squabbling over petty fucking differences, we realize that for the most part, men and women have pretty much equal opportunities in this country. There's not much that men can do that women can't do. There's not much that women can do that men can't do. In fact, there's probably more in this country that women can do that men can't do. So how yeah. about you fucking... Take your female privilege home, shut the fuck up, and go knit me a goddamn sweater. <laughs> Jay, first of all, you're a sexist. Second of all, uh, my, my, my issue with this type of shit is, like, it's just gonna be the same type of shit, like, decades down the line. When, you, when we're fucking in our 40s, when we're middle-aged men... Uh, there are going to be uh, and men's rights activists that are mainstream, yeah, and they're going to point back at shit like this and be like, "Look at all this sexism against men." And yep. It's just going to be—they're going to be making the same retarded arguments that feminists are making these days, except they're going to point back to shit like this and be like, "Oh, wasn't it so terrible to be a man back then?" Even though we don't have it that bad, even though we get some fucking shit from idiots on the internet, whatever. It's going to be the same type of shit. Really is. Dude, like the I, funny I, thing I, I is, like she could hop on a flight right fucking now and and yeah. get to a, a place within a day where slavery is fucking legal, where female oppression is just like the know, norm. That's it's not important. The course. That's not important. That's, yeah, dude. I, I women, think, I beg women to in the West <laughs> that are called guys colloquially. That's the issue. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like yeah. I said, like I said earlier, man, it doesn't affect their lives personally, or at least they think it doesn't, so they don't care. Please note. You're not a bad feminist if you're comfortable with using the phrase, guys. There are larger I'm not issues a feminist. that feminist. Feminist. Yeah. Yeah. need to combat. Reproductive rights, rape culture, violence against- What does any of this yes. have to do with- <laughs> No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Yes, yes. This is actually what you should be talking about. So why are you acknowledging that you should be talking about this, but you actually aren't talking about this? All of the shit she fucking mentioned is, um, yeah, there, there are kind of issues in, uh, in Islamic- societies right now she could fucking go there now like and see it for herself <laughs> grant you know assuming that she's gonna make it back home after she preaches you know her, her ideas there
Dude, I've gotten so pissed off at this video that I've started yelling shut up at fucking videos on the screen, man. Where, where am I getting <laughs> at with this show? <laughs> shut up! LGBTQ shut up, VLC. And the general reprogramming of most people's minds when it comes to the valuing... Okay, I, don't I, don't like, I, I, don't, I don't want anyone to reprogram my mind. I'm good. That's, that, that's awfully close to the term brainwashing. It also seems close to what they're trying to do, isn't it? They're trying to reprogram us and be like, no, you're not allowed to use this word. You must use this word word instead obey your new programming but obey when you your valuing master the personhood and visibility of individuals you make it easier to dehumanize them on a macro scale minimizing uh -huh. his oh, really? her it's their the it? they're not even oh, human so at this point it's just like you've been rendered an object if yeah, you dude. so desire I mean, rock this on if that's what somebody wants. This is true objectification, man. This is true objectification. And it's ironic uh, yeah. because that's a talking point used by other people who say this type of Right thing. to respect and equality. I'm not offended, per se, if someone lumps me in with the guys. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's are. really no malintent. Felt the need to make why are you doing this? Friends want to freely address each other. Uh, she, uh, let's be honest, she's probably just reading off a script, this is probably someone else's fucking script, and she's just a fucking speaker or whatever, so whatever, but to the person actually making this argument, go fuck yourself, you're part of the fucking yeah. issue, you're the reason okay, why there's so much- Like I said, like, this is, this is why people have a problem with organizations like Now This, like, this is how they think, like, um, reaching out an olive branch is supposed to go down, like, oh, you know, we- we-, we we mean no ill, you know, we, we don't think you have bad intentions, we just want to reprogram you. Yeah, like, that, that's, I, I take that's a shit not, on you for ten minutes and I'm like, hey, things are cool with us, right? Just try and, you yeah. know, be a little it's bit like, better. It's like, you know, you're like giving you me a fucking, you're giving me an olive branch with, like, poison ivy glued onto it. It's not fucking, I don't want it. Yeah, Fuck I'm not gonna off. reach out, sorry. I want you to know that you're one small step away for making a more conscious effort to dismantle the patriarchy. Uh, uh, me? Oh no way. God. Did I just hear that? Oh my god. No, yeah. no, no, no. No way. Take one step try back. Try all of cisgender heterosexual men and Holy try shit, I just called her a lady. I have made hey, progress, dude. The okay, brainwashing girl. has begun. Thanks, sis. I'm sis. sure within yeah, I thought 10 you guys minutes, like that. if not yeah, seconds, you're misgendering us. Yeah, I'm not cis. Sorry. <laughs> one person will that. correct you. We should all be as protective of our gender identities as a cisgender uh, heterosexual man. We deserve yes, it. Exactly, so can... exactly as protective. Because you know what? Most cisgender heterosexual men are not that super protective of their sexuality. Like, yeah, oh my yeah. god, like, 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 oh, someone's gonna like. Homophobes are. That I'm straight. Ironic. Homophobes are the one who like to go and say that they're like uh, how heterosexual they are, even though they probably suck and duck dicks back in the fucking. Uh, you know, they suck and duck. <laughs> yeah, suck and duck. Yeah, dude. They suck and duck and fuck. Alright, let's move Sounds on like to something else. Sounds like something Peterson would say. Melvin, Melvin, brother of the Joker, Melvin. Animancer, what is this? <laughs> alright, alright, I gotta, I gotta give some backstory. Alright, so you, you guys are at least both tangentially familiar with a nostalgia critic, right? Oh, yeah. yes, yes, the so, legendary uh... Me Too icon. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so uh, he used to do, like, random sketches, like, just, you know, throwing shit at the wall to see what sticks, like, back uh, back in, like, 2009, two 2010, around that era, and uh, this is one of his, uh, he said this was going to be the first of many sketch comedies, but it turned out to be uh, only his only one, and you'll see why in a few seconds. No, <laughs> I can only imagine why. Melvin, brother of the Joker, Melvin, Melvin, brother of the Joker. I a, a lyrical masterpiece, indeed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, you know what, just... Uh, fuck. Dude, I feel disgusting. It's like watching Onision's videos. It's like... Oh my god, so he does, yeah, this is something Onision would do, man. Back in his, like, oh. I'm a banana days. Hi, I am Melvin, the brother of the Joker. I'm sure a lot of you haven't heard of me, but... Uh, I am the brother of, yes, the infamous Joker. You know, why so serious, you know? I, I see your brother got uh, the, the, that good hairline gene and you didn't. All that yeah. stuff. <laughs> uh, By the way, uh, actually, this I is one of like the most in, uh, most respected independent movie critics like on the internet, by the way. <laughs> I mean, whatever. Like The thing is, like even I mean, fucking Bad Religion, a band I love, they have like a one fucking horrible album. So, I mean, you know, I, I'll cut him some slack, but this is I pretty fucking bad. How old is this video, dude? Uh, this uh, is, I believe, 2009, so it's over a decade old. So, yeah. did, did, didn't PJ make a make a video like this that, that was kind of similar back oh, in the he, day? He, he made plenty of these kind of videos, yeah. 
Dude, yeah, okay, you're so infinitely better, dude. I'm gonna blow your mind right now because uh, I don't know if you've ever seen TJ's video on it. Man, he's talked about oh, it have. multiple times. Oh, okay, Doug Walker was a huge inspiration for yeah, TJ, especially in his early yeah. formula. That, that's what I was thinking. Like, this is probably a, a, a inspiration that, that TJ took, and what yeah, a thing to be inspired by him, man. Well, How TJ's, you know? <laughs> TJ's videos was that what that he did like this were actually better though. They were, they were. He, he, yeah, he did dress up like the Joker and like painted his beard and everything, yeah. just like Melvin, brother. The yeah, my own catchphrase, um, sploopity splooch. Let's put a cringe on that face. Oh my God, dude, this is Egghead as the Joker, dude. We, dude, <laughs> I finally found the role for Egghead. He can portray the role of Melvin, brother of the Joker. I bet he can encapsulate the cringe. Oh, but, uh, I, I think it works. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, first of all, I'd like to welcome all the newcomers to my blog. Oh my God! This goes on for like ten minutes. Hello. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, we are going to talk a lot about evil. Uh, Lots of nasty. It, it somehow gets worse, as you'll see. Okay, I'm just gonna speed it up a bit. All the right. Evil. Um, you know, evil does repeat itself. It's all about getting that massive. Anyway, okay, so uh, today's secret subject, or not secret? I mean, it's all secret. Don't don't tell anybody. But you know, today's a uh, big. I should say, big subject is. Ray guns. Now, the, the thing about Prince Ray, Ray guns, guns. He put on the makeup for this and everything. He tried hard, but it just fucking flopped. Yeah, he didn't dude. script anything out. I know he was just doing this off the top of his head, and he thought this was a good idea to put on the internet. Very expensive as I. Go on. I keep wanting to saying that he's. I keep wanting to say that he's doing like a TJ impression, but I know he's not. Uh, it's probably the other way around, but it looks like he's doing a bad impression of TJ's Joker impression. Yeah, dude, this seems like oh, something the unfunny man. comedian would like film, like for one of his fucking videos or something like yeah, that. Dude. You know, like a real discount TJ. I found out. So, <laughs> so what you're gonna want to do if you want to get a ray gun? Oh, no, it's no, 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 that you can get. Get, there's get it because he's a fuck, he's a neck beard, guys. This is literally one of like the the only consistent jokes that Doug Walker made back in the day. Like, oh man, people people on the internet they've got they live in their mom's basements, guys. That's real funny. It's like, yeah, I've heard this joke a thousand fucking times. You really think it's worth putting in your video like literally twenty fucking times over? That's the only joke in this entire video is that he lives with his mom. What there's a doing? laser. Uh, there's a solar. There's a I want so There's much a, chocolate. Ones that fire bullets, I, I guess that'd just be a gun. No. There's a... Uh, no. Little busy right now! Uh, there's no. the ones that, um... Oh my God, raisins, dude. I haven't seen that as much. <laughs> Isn't this uh, great? Like, oh, is it, hey, don't you? This is so bad, dude. This is the worst thing I've ever watched on Underaim. I'm gonna skip ahead a bit. Let's see. Right. Does anything, this is supposed to be one of the happen? best dudes on YouTube. No, dude. Like I told you, his only gag is that his, he lives with his mom. That's the only fucking Goodbye. gag. You can cut. I can tell he's not yes. the creative force behind the nostalgia critic. This, this just fucking. This oh just yeah, no. He's got writers. He does actually have writers. Yeah. His uh, Tuesday. Uh, actually, the the person who you heard voicing his mother, that wasn't actually him. That was his brother, who happens to sound a lot like him. The other guy, and he does a lot of the scripting for NC's videos and shit like that. Somehow, that guy is funnier than this guy. Just maybe, I might pan somebody. Huh? Maybe a uh, certain somebody with this pointed really is a terrible ears and wears uh, all black. It is, dude. That's right. The human ant. I'm gonna get him. Yeah. Oh man, it my expectations. Alright, I can't take this anymore. I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah, let's move on. I'm sorry, Swagta. How does it end, though? How does it end? Does, does he fun. pull out a fucking gun and shoot I himself I never in the got head? to the end, man. I never got to the end. Let's find out. I'm coming, Mom. I'm coming. Oh, he beats Melvin, up his mom. Melvin, brother. <laughs> hey, wait, we get to hear this masterpiece again? That's our reward for getting through eight fucking minutes of this Oh my god, bit. dude. Yeah. The Joker, Melvin, Melvin, brother. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> okay, whatever. Oh, you know, aren't you glad oh. I made sure that you played the Melvin, brother, the Joker? Oh, yeah, thank you. So, um, have you guys heard about uh, the, the Cuck film? Oh, yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah, I have the trailer for it, so I thought we'd watch it before we uh, wrap things up. All right. The greatest threat to our nation is this false sense of diversity. 
that is the greatest fallacy of the past century. Okay, so right off the bat, it's like Gavin McInnes parody vlog tubes. Read it. I mean, <laughs> are you fucking it's... kidding me? We, we, we live in a we, we we live in an age and time where people are still making like fake YouTubes and Reddit shit like to put on their. I thought I've seen this that shit in movies plenty of times. Do they really need to pay for the artistic license? You couldn't penny up the fucking cash. Today was a pretty rough day for me. I lost a lot of money, and Very I lost wrong. a car, and I lost a job. But everywhere I go, there's illegals, and they're running the show. Oh my god. <laughs> True Patri Patriot 89 speaks. I think we've covered this guy on Underhaven before. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think we have. <laughs> Our country is shifting, not just in terms of politics or morality, but culturally. You can't be proud to be white and male anymore. It's not politically correct. Oh, oh cringe. Oh my god. Record it. Okay, so he's an actual cuck, so that's where the title comes from. The script. Can you do that, Ronnie? Can you follow the script? But you be anything I need to be! What? The Can you pause this for a second? Yeah, I think this is literally like some obscure art house film that li someone literally just put like, oh, give it the title cuck and people will get talking on the internet. This is exactly what I was talking about earlier. It's like people would rather just have this type of discussion rather than put out something that's actually engaging and fun to listen to. They'd rather just have a awareness raised on their product by having it, uh, you know, have the most people possible bitch about it and get into arguments about it on the internet. Right. I mean, it, it, it's one of those, um, yeah, like you said, small art house kind of studio films where it's like, we're gonna cash in on pissing people off. Yeah, but if name you check out the comment section of of this trailer, like you'll see that people with like Pepe avatars are fucking seething. They took the bait. So, they all yeah. took the bait. Gave it exactly what that guy wanted. Is the fragment they got caught. Does he have access to <laughs> weapons, guns, knives, anything? Forty-five. Pretty, isn't it? That Eminem. Hell yeah. When the fire comes, you're gonna burn. I need you. Oh, century. Fuck off. God. Oh my god. Uh, this, is, this is all I'm seeing. Like, this is clearly like a. It's like one of those Christian movies that, that, that they make that, like, you know, it clearly has a. Yeah, dude. It clearly has, like, a really heavy fucking uh, narrative that it's trying to push. And it's like. And, and, and the it's Bible? Try to make it fucking interesting. It's not. It's fucking bullshit. It's a stupid fucking propaganda film. Low budget fucking low effort low energy that a bunch of idiots that Sad. already believe a certain message are gonna just watch and eat up and be like yup that's good because it parrots my beliefs too dude this is like if some conservative came out and made a movie called the 13 percent like oh what's he gonna get into in this fucking movie huh? <laughs> Cuck. cringe uh, <laughs> that's it. That's fucking it. That's all. Oh, man. They should have Melvin. called it Green. Melvin. That would be a better title. Melvin, Melvin, <laughs> brother. Of they, the they should have had that uh, video playing on his computer. Fucking <laughs> yeah, dude. dude. Dude, all right, Swagged. I'm sorry because I like need to formally apologize. I've already apologized twice for showing that you that video, but now that that Melvin, brother, of the Joker thing is gonna get stuck in your head like it got stuck in mine, and you're just gonna be humming to yourself that's randomly. That's Google as history. That's yeah, Google whatever. history. Well, why would you bring that up, Swagged? Now I don't want to have to fucking think about that shit again. God damn. Because you subjected me to it. So oh yeah, payback. I also subjected you to Melvin, brother of the Joker. Melvin, Melvin. Brother of the Joker. So uh. Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, what a way to come back to Underhaven, man. What a way to come back. Oh, speaking was... of uh, coming back, we have one final video to play. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a chat. While, uh, Jared Genesis in 5 FPS. Uh, Greetings all, it is Lord Genesis. <laughs> I cannot make it louder uh, than this. Okay, so just I, I, but I, I, have to ta I, I, I have to tell you guys something. This just made me realize something. Yeah. Uh, I am no longer Lord J. Dark A. <laughs> oh, you had to abolish I, your royal title because of this yeah, asshole? Dude. Huh? Yeah, dude. It just, it made me realize how fucking cringy it is. <laughs> Wait, really? Wow, Jesus Christ. Dude, fuck, dude, Lord, fuck Lord, it, dude. Lord, 
Lord Genesequa here, man. He's I, gonna, I think you might be onto something because I mean, like you know, we have Lord of Patriarchy, like War Corpse. Uh, <gasps> oh my God, cringe, dude. <laughs> Why? Uh, Why? Why would you do this again, to me, Jared? As long as it did. It's all your oh, fault. I didn't consent. I want to talk about that. Go though. back to I talk about some other shits. Uh, basically, it's <laughs> this, guys. I needed a break from social oh. media. Uh, Whoa! Holy shit! shit. Genesis was getting you should take trouble. a permanent break from social With, media, uh, mate. A lot of trolls and just stupid drama, and it was you don't belong I'm here. Just tired of dealing with. He don't belong uh, here. Then get off. Monster. You know what and get off and I'm stay off. Haters, cause I walked in the I'm a glitch. Drama. People don't get people who aren't sheep. You know, you're gonna be judged for that. Uh, <laughs> I'm paying more attention to this fucking kaleidoscope oh than I am to the <laughs> actual fucking contents <laughs> of what he's saying. Dude, uh, it's like an abstract art project. I know, dude. Someone, I should fucking put this on my wall. How would you guys feel about that? <laughs> what oh, the fuck? That, What's happening? You're family, incompetent, uh, dude. And, you know, that doesn't need to happen. When it starts to affect your family, then you know it's time to oh, What break. about when it starts but to affect your video processing quality? <laughs> thing. It can be anyway, and you really have to be careful. Dude, this Whoa. is the Bilderberg! Yeah, he's a what? reptile. Dude, he's Holy black! Shit. He's, uh, um, okay, no, you're right. Uh, I didn't mean to. Okay. okay, here's why Unterhaven no longer uh, exists on Twitch. I didn't make a new channel because I forgot <laughs> my password, and I knew what I What the would. fuck is happening? But, you know, I think Wait, he just said he had to make a new channel because he forgot question. his fucking password? <laughs> Uh -huh. I'm sure. Um, uh, but I guess yeah, we'll I'm sure that was way. it. So yeah, uh, my live streams were getting pretty crazy, bro. <laughs> it was getting pretty uh, crazy indeed. Yeah, yeah, you know, talking about diddling kids and shit. Yeah, that that is kind of crazy, bro. You know, the sad <laughs> thing is, he actually came out of all this fucking shit with an audience. Yeah, oh yeah, did. dude, this shit helped a him. A bunch of people who are like, you know what? I fucking stand with Jared. He's yeah, an dude. alpha. Dude, imagine standing great, with great Jared. job. Those of you who fucking perpetuate him and put put him on the fucking put him on the public stage for like yeah. everyone to fucking see and be like ah, whatever. Yeah, I, I know Dude. I go around and I call Jared a Chad and everything, but I, I, there are people who actually like unironically probably believe that he is a Chad. That's really He's fucking nutty, bro. Um, but uh, I'm still here, guys, and I just want you to. Know <laughs> it doesn't look like it. And you know, I'm just enjoying life because that's what life is all about. Guys. Okay, then get life off the is, Life is all about talking life. about how you want to fuck kids. <laughs> that's what life is. Dude. You love yourself and all that good stuff. Don't this, let anyone tell you. This dude shouldn't that. be on the fucking internet, dude. He shouldn't be on the fucking really internet. This, this dude needs fucking help, okay? He clearly is not fucking. He, there's something up with him. He should just like I honestly th I don't think Jesse Lee Peterson should be uh, on the internet either. Honestly, but I think he's he's he reeks of someone who's who's just indoctrinated and fucking true, uh, true. exploited. But this dude reeks of someone who doesn't even have someone to be his handler. He just like is some mentally ill person on the internet that just says whatever the fuck he wants, and no one's there like making sure that he doesn't you know. Because you know what? Maybe he is just being being cringy and just trying to be an edge lord and be like, "Yeah, dude, I think it's okay to fuck kids," and and maybe he doesn't mean it. I he probably does. Either way, he should be looked into by fucking authorities and like like not. It's true. Now he's got a fucking audience. Now he's got a bunch of people that are behind him that are like, "Yeah, dude, I'm I'm, I'm a fucking like what do they call themselves? Maps." He's yeah, got map. a whole map oh audience God. now. He's got a map fan base. You I'm know, the that, map. That's... I'm the map. I'm the map. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, dude! Oh my God! You'll never see Dora just... the Explorer the same way, dude. You'll never see. Yeah, it. dude. Oh my no, God! He, he's fucking hanging out in a little girl's so backpack, and yeah, man. Haters are the biggest motivators. Haters make you, bro. I mean, really, they do. They hate, hate us because they hate us, man. Something wrong. That's just what it is, homie. Like, you gotta hate. have haters in your life. Uh, ain't is gonna ain. Keep you going. They gonna keep the heart pumping. Uh, but you if know, you contribute to, to giving this to, fucking dude you know, a following, I hope you sleep soundly at like night. That's all I want. You know what I mean? <laughs> D don't try to go out of your way to get animated. Oh no, that's what we're doing here, right? Oh yeah, it's totally the same thing.
God. I guess that's pretty much it. I don't really. Good. Have... I'm glad you're doing okay. okay so get so off the wrap internet. up the video. Wrap it up. That I love yeah, it. dude. Th this uh, video has had more fucking endings than Return I don't of the know King. If I'll ever get 2,000 <laughs> subs again, but that's fine. I'm just chilling. God, you know, he I'm just keeps going. Subs like I have. And then I did years. this, and I'm back dude, now. Is this Brett son, man? Is this Brett son? I've been wanting to here to tell you that I want to fuck your kids, and I'm Jared Genesis, and I love God, and I'm here to fuck kids. I guess people still enjoy doing Dude, fuck someone get this, this guy to draw a picture of Link. Really we gotta see. Myself. Yeah, get him to draw a picture of Link, then we'll have our evidence, man. Oh my god, look at this! <laughs> what are we looking at right now? Oh my it's, god, it's, it's, it's a fucking... It's like, uh, it's like we're looking at, like, a new special infected from Left 4 Dead 3 or something. Yeah. Jeez. We want to do a whole lot of collabs, I just... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he looks oh, like a, that fucking woman who had her face ripped off by a chimp. Doing my own thing. <laughs> like oh, you're not allowed to joke about that, mate. You know, that's cool. You're not allowed to <laughs> joke about that on YouTube. Oh, my bad. Video. Good thing we're on Twitch. You'll get, you'll get uh, banned. You know, it is what it is. Like, I think that time it is what it is. Coming past, and I'm really just um, a pedophile. Uh, <laughs> a map. I'm not. A map. I'm, I'm not thinking. Sane. I'm, 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 uh, it, it could happen. <laughs> okay, Jared. <laughs> All right, Jared. Really uh, get off the internet. Anyone, <laughs> There's over a minute left of this. Who have you? This goes on uh, long. I've always just like and I said, it I've been goes kind of on and on and on and on and on. And on, and on, and on. And Jared, children. Oh my God, dude. It's funny that YouTube is even still around. I'm I'm just surprised. It's How's it still funny? Around. I find it I depressing. It's yeah, funny. me too. It's kind of a <laughs> sad state of affairs, especially when someone sad. like you can get a following, man. Corporate pigs. But, like a legit um, following anyways, too. Guys, oh, and uh, by the way, bad. thanks, Keemstar. I don't really have much else to say except that. Oh yeah, th yeah, yeah, dude. Love you though. Love you though. This dude should be polishing Keemstar's knob right now. You know, like, oh, fucking hate, hey, fuck Keemstar, fuck controls. No, dude, you should be polishing, polishing his fucking knob. I mean, like, thank you for giving me a fucking following. Just doing my thing out here, bro. You know, doing music. You're just doing my thing. You know, I'm still trying to work Dude, what a chat, you know? What a fucking chat. Some pounds. But, um, you know, I'm just gonna lose some pounds. Dude, are you finally gonna have the fucking baby? <laughs> You know, I've been playing a little bit of drums, oh, shit, and I'm dude. building a PC right now, which is going to be epic, bro. So I'll make a video. Okay, on it'll be epic, bro. I, hope I believe guys, you. Hope you guys have I hope it explodes day. when you turn it on. So, um, dude, look at look at his lip right, right now. Side. Peace. Oh my All god. All right, thanks, Jared. Okay, peace. Thank you. Goodbye. What a way Goodbye to end forever. Video. Dude, please right. never come back to YouTube. Please, I'm begging you. Yeah, stay the fuck off this platform. You don't belong we'll here. More demonetized. Yeah. I hope this is the end of the Jared saga, dude. Dude, things are going to get so bad on YouTube thanks to people like Jared that instead of being demonetized, we're going to have to pay YouTube money for every fucking video that we put up. It's so, like, that'll be a 25 cents, sir. Oh, God, please awesome. don't say that, dude. The Wajiki oh, is... I'll, I'll cut that out of the final product. I'll, I, I don't want them to actually hear it. Cut it out, Animancer. Cut it out. All right, so that's cut an episode. We're back. Uh, hopefully, we're going to be able to do this yeah. on a weekly basis again. We're both kind of really busy with different projects and shit, but... uh. We're, we're working out the details. Hopefully, we'll have another episode up soon, so stay tuned. And by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, follow us on Twitch, because that's where uh, we broadcast. Twitch.tv forward slash The Underhaven. Oh, yeah. Join our Discord, or else I'll, I'll I'll do something crazy. Like, like yeah, dude. I, I, I'm not going to do anything, but join our Discord. The best Light Discord. on fire. Do that. Good night, everybody. Peace.